hello guys welcome back to another video so far we have complete uh, the admin panel and user dashboard right and uh, we have user authentication for the admin panel i mean when a user will actually log in if it is a normal user then it will actually go to the normal dashboard and if it is admin then it will go to the admin dashboard so in this video what i'm going to show you is how you can actually protect all the pages related to admin let's say we have multiple pages in admin if i go to the resources and then views here you can see we have admin folder and we have dashboard so uh, actually i want to protect all the pages related to admin let's say admin can add doctor information right admin can add uh, different kind of things so if normal user can access it or any user that are not logged in can access it our project will be messy like they can add anything right in our project so we should protect all of them right so in this video i'm going to show you how admin uh, i mean how you can actually protect all the pages related to admin okay so what i'm going to do at first i'm going to create a controller for the admin so that actually i can control all the uh, you know admin related pages from a separate controller here you can see in app http then controllers we have user controller for all the user related things and we are going to actually create separate controller for the admin so that we can actually control all the admin related pages from the separate controller okay and we need a middleware for admin to protect all the pages related to admin so here you can see this is uh, if i go to the web.php in the routes then web.php and here we will find middleware auth for the profile and here we have also a middleware auth uh, for the dashboard right so we need a middleware for the admin for all the admin related pages so we are going to create a separate middleware for the admin and the middleware name will be admin middleware so let's create so let's create at first a controller for the admin and a middleware okay let's go to the terminal new terminal and here i'm going to say php artisan make controller and here i'm going to say the controller name and that is admin controller press enter and you will create an admin controller and here i'm going to now create another uh, middleware for the admin so php artisan make colon middleware and that will be admin middleware middleware press enter and it create a middleware also so we have a, a middleware folder here admin middleware and here you can see we have admin controller also we are going to actually add it in the web.php because we need to access this class admin controller and all the function related to it so let's go uh, and after that we have to actually set the middleware in the kernel.php so we'll do it step by step let's go at first for the admin controller in the admin controller uh, we need to actually import it in the routes and then web.php so here again we have a profile controller and user controller so i'm going to actually copy it and i'm going to paste it here and let's change it to admin controller right so now we have import admin controller now we can actually access admin controller class and all the function related to admin controller done now let's go back to the app http middleware admin middleware and here we are going to set a condition but before that we have to actually add it in the kernel.php but we know after laravel 11 we don't have this file kernel.php so what you have to do you have to go to the bootstrap then app.php here you will find a with middleware option here you can see and here you have to mention the middleware so we have a variable here middleware dollar middleware we can actually copy it and paste it here and here we have to say allies or alias whatever you say and here we have to say square brackets why square brackets let's you have you can have you know multiple middleware right so you may have you know multiple user let's say so that time you need multiple middleware right so we'll actually use here square brackets and we'll actually close it using semicolon and here we are going to give it a name let's say for the admin i'm going to give it a name admin and i want to actually register it here so i'm going to say this sign and here i'm going to say app backslash we have to actually uh money mention <coughs> money mention <laughs> We have to actually mention the middleware location okay so here you can see it's inside app then http then middleware right so app then http backslash middleware 
then admin media here you can see and then colon colon class then comma now let's see want to create one more middleware name so you can actually create here let's say test and then you have to actually mention the path also like this and then you have to use comma okay sorry not this sign this will be this sign okay so like this you can actually add multiple middleware but in this case we are going to actually uh, keep only one middleware that is admin and now through this name we can actually access middleware in the web.php let me go to the web.php routes then web.php here here you can see we are actually uh, accessing middleware through the name right so this is the auth uh, middleware by default when we actually create laravel breeze right uh, i mean install laravel breeze for the login and registration so they have actually added it by default uh, so we uh, so this this one is for us actually and uh, i mean our dashboard so here you can see all the time we actually call middleware through the name and that is the reason actually we have to uh, you know keep it in i mean uh, import it or what can i say add it in the kernel.php so we haven't actually kernel.php in uh, laravel 12 i mean after laravel 11 so we have to actually go for the bootstrap then app.php here we have to actually mention it okay with the name here you can see now we can actually access through the name uh, of this middleware admin middleware. now let's go back to the admin middleware we have to change a little bit here and here you can see this is the function and every single time uh, let's say somebody actually want to uh, you know request something let's say they want to actually access any page here you can see they can easily go to the next request right but here we have to give a condition at first that you need to be admin right so first of all we have to say you need to be authenticated so i will say auth colon colon check so this is the function this is the auth class so you have to actually import this auth class here how we will say use illuminate then auth before that auth we have to add two more path and that is support then facets we don't need event this is auth now we can actually access auth class so auth class basically uh, check the user is authenticated or not so this auth class is related to this uh, table user table by default okay so we don't have to actually mention it so it will actually go for the user table default table okay fine so uh, this will actually check the user is authenticated or not this function check function and we'll actually give here end condition so that both condition is uh, i mean uh, need to be true right for the end operator we know for, uh, the left one and the right one i mean both condition need to be true so and second condition will be let's say auth colon colon user class go to the user table sorry and then we have a column in the user table right here you can see user type so we're going to say here user underscore type and here we are going to mention that okay so we have to actually give here two equal why because this is not assigned this is comparing the value right so user type is equal to uh, we'll say you need to be admin if you are not admin no matter if you are user or uh, let's see you are not logged in doesn't matter we'll actually send him to the unauthorized access space so let me cut it from here and paste it inside of this condition so if you want to go for the next request i mean if you want to access admin pace any pace you can actually go but at first you have to check the authentication i mean you have to log in at first and then let's say user is also logged in right but you have to be admin so guys that's it now uh, we can actually say here abort function okay and in the abort function we have to give a code we know laravel has multiple you know code uh, uh, i mean multiple pages let's say 404 401 403 right so we have to actually mention such a page so let's say 401 or 403 and here we have to give a comma and then a message and let's say unauthorized access unauthorized access so you may actually create your default page okay and then you can show the message uh, but we'll actually go with the laravel default one okay so abort so first of all it will check the user is authenticated and if it is authenticated must be admin not the user then actually they can access admin pages because we'll actually add it in the admin middleware uh, i mean uh, admin related page okay we'll use this middleware uh, otherwise let's see you are not logged in and uh, if you are logged in also but you are a normal user then it will actually show you unauthorized access so now you cannot actually access any admin related pages so now 
what you have to do you have to go to the app.php in the routes right and here uh, not sorry 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 guys mistake web.php so here and here i'm going to actually uh, create a middleware group okay so we can actually uh, create here like this so uh, i'm going to actually copy this and paste it here and the middleware name will be auth yes we need to actually check the authentication also because in the app.php here you can see uh, not really not here uh, in the admin middleware here you can see we have check auth also right so we need to check the auth also so here we will check at first authentication and then comma the middleware name for the admin and that is admin middleware if i go to the bootstrap here you can see bootstrap where is the bootstrap here then app.php and here you can see we have named it as admin right okay so we have to mention it like this user must be authenticated and must be admin then actually they can access all the admin related pages so now we are going to actually let's say i want to create here a page i mean view now if anyone actually want to access the view they need to be logged in and also admin okay so that's it guys uh thank you so much for watching